Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Shelly of Letters by Shells and today I am so excited for this tutorial because I'll be showing you all how to create a shadow effect within your text and your lettering along with how to create a galaxy effect as well. So the galaxy can also be used for your lettering and backgrounds and I'll get more into that. But I'm excited to share with you my techniques on achieving this look. So let's get into it. But with this tutorial, first I'll start with the creating a galaxy effect. So I'm gonna go ahead, open up my layers tab, and I wanna make sure I have it on alpha lock. So I'm gonna get two fingers and swipe to the right. You can also tap on that layer and select alpha lock as well. The alpha lock will basically lock your entire artwork and you were not able to like write around it and things like that. Our goal is to basically recolor different sections of the artwork piece. The first step would be to open up your brush library and I'm going to use a brush in my airbrushing folder and just go ahead and s select the hard brush. The reason why I chose a hard brush is because I really like the way the brush is made. I feel like it's a really big brush and you're able to color different sections of your artwork piece a lot more smoother than the other brushes that are available. Also keep in mind when you're using this brush, you do have to press a little bit harder than the other brushes or else you're not going to see the color and it's just, it's gonna look like it's not working basically. The next step would be to opening up your color wheel. I already have the color selected the color black and I'm going to start now coloring the top section of my artwork piece along with the bottom section. So after you have the color black on both the top artwork piece along with the bottom, go ahead and open up your color wheel again and let's choose like a really deep royal blue color. And the, for that, I'm just going to color underneath the color black that I colored on the top and bottom. The last step would be opening up your color wheel again and choosing a more like of a magenta color. And with that, I'm going to now color in the middle section of my artwork piece. So now you'll be able to see a repeating color scheme happening, the color black, royal blue, along with the magenta color. So next, we're gonna go to our magic wand tab, which is the adjustments, and choosing my all-time favorite effect, which is the Gaussian blur. After that effect is selected, go ahead and use your Apple Pencil and very slowly swipe to the right. Our goal is to not swipe it 100% because it's going to just become one color and my goal is to create like a galaxy themed color effect. So until I start seeing a good mixture of like the color black, blue, and the magenta Chanel look like a purplish color, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. I believe my canvas that I was using on this was about 5,000 by 5,000 pixels and I made sure the Gaussian blur was at least about 15%. So I hope this looks like a galaxy themed effect. So the last step would be to add some stars to the piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my brush library again and go to the spray paints folder and choose a splatter brush. So after I select that brush, I'm going to now open up my color wheel again and choose a color white for the stars. My goal for this is to gently tap on to the screen. So I just wanna kind of see how it's turning out and maybe if I need to reduce the brush size a little bit. So I went ahead and just added some stars on the upper left-hand side along with the lower right-hand side and just somewhere in the middle. So I hope it's looking more of like a galaxy themed effect. Um, the stars was to help you know, just add onto the theme. And the last step would be to add a shadow just to give more like dimension and make it pop out more. So opening up my layers tab, I'm going to now duplicate the layer. So with that, you just go ahead and swipe to the left and just hit duplicate. So now that you have two of the exact same layers, think of shadow effect basically being on the bottom layer. I know that they're both like named layer two, but I'm going to add the shadow on the bottom layer and the top layer is going to have the artwork piece that has a galaxy theme effect. For the shadow effect, I decided to choose the color yellow. So opening up my color wheel, I'm gonna choose the color yellow and now opening up my layers. I'm going to now tap on the bottom layer and since it's alpha locked, all I have to do is basically select fill layer. To add the shadow effect, this is basically my version of adding shadow. There are so many different ways of going about doing it, but this is the quickest and most easiest way that I figured out how to do so. So after you open up your layers, make sure that you are on the shadow layer. Now select the arrow button, which is like the selection tool. So you should now see that the shadow effect has been highlighted. It basically has like a nice box around it. 
so I'm now going to use my Apple Pencil and literally tap on the screen to the right. So I'm not going to drag any of the boxes around. I'm just basically tapping onto the screen to the right hand side with my Apple Pencil. So you should kind of see it come out. I'm going to open up my layers tab again and just rechange the color yellow to like a darker shade just because I want to make sure that you can see it on the screen. I'm going to also zoom in onto the screen so you can see it a little bit closer. So this is the up close version. I hope you are seeing the galaxy themed effect along with the shadow effect that I added. But yeah, this is basically all it is uh, with my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please comment below if you have any questions and what tutorial I should do next. I would love to hear your, your thoughts and see what you are hoping for me to create. If you are also interested in my book, I also have it in the caption below. All the details can be found there. And also if you are interested in learning my style of lettering, uh, feel free to check out my practice sheets that are, are also linked below in my caption. Thank you so, so much for your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for all the love and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.